Today, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of installing and configuring PaperCut in a Windows environment. By running the installer, I will then be prompted for a window, and I will click Next, and choose the default options as I go along. PaperCut has now been installed into my system and by clicking finish I'll be taken directly into the configuration screen. The first step in the configuration screen is setting the password for my built-in administrator account. Today we are demonstrating installing and configuring for an education environment, but when configuring we also have the option for installing for a small to medium enterprise or a professional client billing installation, such as an engineering or architectural firm where there are many client or project based accounts. By selecting one of these configurations, PaperCut will display custom questions for each configuration and will automatically apply the best user settings to suit that kind of enterprise. This promotes best print management practices tailored towards your environment. Today I will select Education and select Next. Next, we are required to set the default cost per page for a black and white print. Here in Australia, that would be around 10 cents, but this figure can be changed at any time. By selecting Next, I am now prompted to put in the initial user's credit. As I am not sure what I am going to do here in the future, I will just put in $10 and then select Next. Now we will need to populate the PaperCut user list. Today we'll be synchronizing direct from Windows Active Directory as PaperCut has already detected. I'll select Import All Users and select Next. Keep in mind that LDAP and secondary sync sources are also available for advanced configurations and can be changed later on. Now by selecting Finish, PaperCut will begin tracking and controlling printing of the imported users when they print through the print server where PaperCut is installed. Once this is done, I will then be able to log on to the PaperCut administration console and start having a play around. PaperCut has immediately started tracking printing in real time. Here I can enter the Users tab to see that PaperCut has synchronized and imported my user list. And now if I look at my Printers tab, I will see that PaperCut has picked up the printers on the network. No one is currently doing any printing, but if I was to select Print, and then go back to my Users tab, I will see that the user has printed the total of two pages and has been charged accordingly. Back onto the dashboard, there will be configuration suggestions at the top of the page to help you get more out of the PaperCut print management solution. Thanks for watching, and if you would like any more information, please head over to our website at www.papercut.com.